Safety is at the core of all Teslas, and Cybertruck's no exception. Crash test executed in three, two, one. Today's test is the first Cybertruck crash test, and it's a 35 miles an hour full frontal, which is one of the most severe crash tests in the industry. So we have to make sure that we absorb the energy correctly and manage that acceleration so we can better protect the occupants. There's a lot of misconceptions that this big ominous looking vehicle is gonna be unsafe for other road users. We designed it to have the crash structure way down low. It's not only in line with the center of gravity, but it's compatible with other vehicles on the road, which means it's a safer crash for everyone involved. After the crash, we're going back, really making sure that our models match up with exactly the positioning of everything. And then with our simulations, we can see how the airbags are deploying, how the occupant is then interacting with these airbags. We get that progressive crush, the motion of the tow hook first, and then the bumper as it crushes. And then the next thing we have is the casting. The large casting in Cybertruck is performing in a different manner compared to your typical stamped steel structures. Typically, it'll bend into a three-point bend and absorb energy, whereas with a casting, it's going to break off into very tiny, small pieces. And the smaller the pieces that it breaks up into, the more efficient your structure is. Today, we're in the crash test site for rollover testing. Make sure we get a lot of data on when it almost rolls versus when it actually rolls, so we can figure out what's the best time to deploy airbags to protect the occupants. We're doing four types of different rollovers. The first is a ramp rollover. Then next, a curb trip rollover, where you go laterally towards a curb. The next one is similar to the last one, except there's no curb, but it's a soil ditch. Finally, last one is big ramp ditch, where you drive down at different speeds. We test until failure, and we'll keep increasing the speed until we get a rollover. So the first step is rollover prevention and designed in such a way with a low center of gravity and good suspension systems. The second step is rollover protection, where the airbags and the structure of the truck come in. So if the truck were to roll over, you want to make sure that the cabin is protected and it can hold up its own weight plus additional weight as well to protect the occupants in that case. What this testing shows is that the overall design of the Cybertruck is very robust. I've been impressed with the way the Cybertruck maintained its structural integrity during multiple different types of rollovers. A typical gas pickup truck is carrying the weight in its body and its gas tank, which are both mounted pretty high in the vehicle. Majority of that mass is in the battery pack, which is down all the way on the floor. It's actually the floor of the vehicle. Cybertruck has lowest probability of injury and the lowest probability of rollover in any pickup truck on the market. No one thought it'd be possible to build a tough truck that's also very safe, but at Tesla, we, do, we don't stop until we meet our high level of safety. Cybertruck's low center of gravity, exoskeleton, and advanced crash structure are what earn it that five-star overall crash safety rating.